I really don't know much of, I've heard of Expedia. I think I know what they do, but I'm gonna learn as much as you folks do. Thank you everybody for letting me come in your classroom and just spend some time with all of y'all. So I'm Kelly Harrison and I'm with the Expedia Group. And I'm gonna just start telling you a little bit about who I am and my history. So I went to the University of South Carolina. I'm from South Carolina and I majored in hospitality. So I started, I started when I was 15 actually, waiting tables at a little days Inn in my small little town. So it's just natural that I just kind of followed suit. So I graduated from the University of South Carolina, but right before I graduated, I was very fortunate. I was able to get a job with Marriott International. So on the corporate side, so who in here knows a lot about hotels? Yeah, yeah. So there's corporate and franchise. So I went on the franchise side. What I also chose, limited service, full service, there's such an array of options. But I thought to myself, hey, I'm gonna start with courtyards since I got the job with Marriott, and I'm gonna work my way up really fast and then jump over to the full service. So very fortunate, I moved out to Southern California, um, started with front desk, restaurant, housekeeping, oh gosh, assistant general manager, and then they said, hey, listen, you know, if you're gonna be a GM, you're gonna to have to jump into sales. I said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Sales is not my thing. I'm an ops girl. I solve problems. I make beds. Ooh. So that GM of that hotel said, okay, Kel, if you don't like sales, we will get you back into ops. No problem in six months. But I got into sales and I loved it. I was like, oh, I'm not even top ramen anymore. This is fabulous. So I stayed into sales. And again, I was at Courtyard in Southern California. I had moved around. And um, I get bored fairly easily. So I was crushing my numbers and I said to my GM, I'm like, I'm ready for the next spot. Where are we going? What's the next place you're gonna ship me to? And my regional said, we're gonna move you to a Fairfield Inn. It's across the street from Disneyland in Anaheim. Has anybody been there? You yeah? have? Have you stayed at the Fairfield Inn? Oh, how exciting. So the Marriott family actually owns that hotel. The Marriott family owns one hotel in each brand. So if you work, you know, for in a hotel that the Marriott family owns, it's just helping your career and it's helping you write your ticket for your next progression. So she's like, you gotta go there, it's gonna pop you in where you wanna go next. So I went there, loved it. Within a year I was bored. I was like, okay, I'm ready for the next big thing. What's going on? in my online travel agency for Travelocity. So how many of y'all in here know Travelocity Orbit's Expedia Group? He walked into my hotel to meet with me. His name was Alan Pawana. Really cool guy, like just so cool. And he sat down and started talking all this lingo. I had no idea. I looked at him, I'm like, I want your job. So call me when you get promoted. Sure enough, a month later he called me. So I don't advise this, but I called in sick and I got my resume together and I applied to Travelocity. Super fortunate I got the job. I started as a market manager for Travelocity for Orange County and Palm Springs back in California. And so what that means is I managed all those hotels in that area. So I'd go to each hotel, I would visit with them, I'd make sure their content looks good on site, we'd look at availability, We'd sit down and talk about strategy and what works for them and how we could help drive revenue. Just plugging along as a market manager, absolutely loved it. And then an advertising, a digital advertising spot within Travelocity came available and somebody nudged me. They're like, Kelly, you should post for that. And I'm like, well, I don't really know anything about advertising. I mean, I barely watch TV, which I don't. I do a lot of podcasting. If I read books, it's nonfiction. So I said, okay, why not? I'll, I'll do it, what, what can I lose? So I posted and I got the job. It was definitely ramping up really quickly. I was working all the time just to kind of learn advertising and all the nuances. And in that advertising position, what that entailed was, is I went to, let's say the Memphis CBB, but out in California, I managed the whole state of California, Utah, I think Arizona at that time as well. 
So I would go to their convention centers, I'd meet with their VPs of marketing, and really think about ways we can help market or partner together their destination by buying digital space on our website. Then I also worked with ad agencies. Who in here has seen Mad Men? The series, it's, anyway. So, yeah, so I would go into ad agencies in LA. So some, let's say, ad agencies that rep Toyota, Nissan, you name it, I would go and visit them and try to get them to buy space on Travelocity.com. I also worked with a record label and they would push, you know, let's say Dave Matthews came out with a new CD or new record label or whatever. They would push, you know, hey, look at Dave Matthews on Travelocity. So I was very fortunate. And then um, I met my husband and I moved to Tennessee and Travelocity's like, hey, okay, that's cool. We'll just change up your territory and advertising. So I moved from Minnesota down to Texas. I lived here and then repped all of those states. It was busy. I was on an airplane all the time. And then Orbitz called me and they said, hey, we really like you. Um, I, I didn't put in a resume. They called me. So then I said, okay, I'll come talk. And they made a deal I couldn't refuse, but they said, you're going to have to ship back to LA. We want you repping the LA market. I said, okay. So as long as I can live in Memphis and just live on an airplane, we're all good. And I did that. And then about two years after my son was born, I said, hey, I think I got to take some time off work and just spend it with my son. So that's what I've done. And I took five to seven years off. And then Expedia was looking for a market manager for Memphis and Louisville. And I applied for it. And I was so thankful I got the job. So that's how I got here today. So before I dive into who Expedia Group is, I have two Target gift cards of $15. <laughs> but I want to see if you've done this one thing and you got to show me. So it's the first two hands. Who has downloaded the Expedia Group app on their phone? <laughs> Just raise your hand if you have. Okay. You, can you show me? They're doing it right now. <laughs> online for travel. So let's say you're, oh wow, fantastic. Yeah? I mean, even if it's just up to Nashville or a little road trip, you're just looking at it online. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do all kinds of research online. So now I'm going to jump into who Expedia Group is. <laughs> Bless you. These are our global brands, and I'm sure that some of y'all have recognized some of them. Travelocity, Orbitz, Hotels.com. We also have HomeAway as well. Who is Expedia Group? Well, we're an online travel agency. We're a leader in technology, and we also have local market experts. This is a super busy slide. <laughs> but what I do want to point out to you is in last year, we booked over 312 million room nights. That means we were up 16%. And in the last 20 years, our company keeps growing and growing. So it's very exciting times. And then on this side right here, it's just showing you all the products that we sell. We don't just sell hotels. We also sell airlines. You can buy a cruise with us, an activity, and you also can buy insurance if you want to. So we don't just go after a niche set of travelers. We want a diverse range. So with going after a diverse range, we have to make sure we have a lot of different products. And I just mentioned several of the products that consumers can purchase on our sites. And then we also tailor it to meet all kinds of different shopping behaviors. Let's say you're heading to Nashville and you need a hotel for one night and you're looking today, I'm going today. Well, we can meet those needs. Or let's say you want to go to Australia next year for a whole month and you need a flight, a hotel, a rental car, maybe some activities. 
other things, you can package that all up together. And then we want to make sure we reach everyone across all devices. Your iPhone, your tablet, oh, even your Kelly, desktop. Before you move that one, can you, will you take questions? Oh my gosh, absolutely. So Good. stop and raise your hand at any time. Because <laughs> I got one. Yeah. Um, if I go, if a customer goes to hotels.com and looks at a certain city, do they, and then they, they get a hotel, they get a rate, mm -hmm. and then they go to Orbitz or they go to Travelocity and they do the same thing, do they get the same rate? Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So being a market manager and, and being local and having local market knowledge, uh, that's part of my job working with the hotels. But we own all those sites you just named, Expedia Group owns them. So, and now I, it, I, I might get a, a little bit technical here. So since we own those sites, the hotels, the way that they distribute their rates through their revenue management system, it's one rate delivered to all those sites. So there wouldn't be any different challenges. So there's no point in looking at different websites? Basically, you're doing... Well, our different. competitor is Booking.com mm -hmm. and Priceline. Okay. But yes, we like to work with our hotels to make sure consistency is across the board. Yes? So 